And finally, howdy RetroFam. I'm sorry, I haven't forgotten about you. I've been producing videos like crazy this month to kind of uh, make up for the neglect and uh, sorrow I have caused you all. I'm sorry, I had to uh, put 100% focus on my new job. That's why I haven't been making videos lately. And um, as I just uh, wrote, I've always wanted an Amiga 4000, but it's too expensive. So I decided to make one for myself from scratch. And uh, this is basically just a PCB. You can order them from um, a couple of places online. I bought mine on eBay. It's a replica, 100% accurate replica. Had uh, possibly some small fixes. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's more like exactly identical to an A4000 motherboard. And uh, this is the motherboard without CPU, so you have to have this CPU card. And um, of course, I used the um, one made by John Hertel, another happy Swede, uh, the A3660. And um, we're going to build that too and uh, connect everything and power it on and we will see a very expensive explosion because I have no doubt that this is bound to fail. I want to show you the different parts that you need to uh, attach to the motherboard. It's uh, more or less everything is um, s surface mount, so you have to practice. What I do, I just put a little bit of solder on one side. I take the component up with my tweezers and I try not to shake like this and I heat up the solder to melt it and I slide the component in place, like so. Then I have some psychological problems, so I have to have everything in line and um, all the text on, <laughs> on the resistors have to be uh, in the same direction, otherwise I will look at it and I will redo everything. I will feel really, really anxious about it, so I better get it right from the beginning. And a project like this is very time consuming. It will cost you a lot of money and um, you will have to order parts from all over the internet to get the parts that you need for this project. The most expensive components are the custom chipsets from Commodore and uh, then some, um, I will show you later, but we have a couple of um, older chips that are pretty hard to get, so you will have to pay the price for that. Otherwise it's just time and you have to be careful and um, check everything after you have done it to see that you didn't break a pad or um, have, have a short circuit in um, the sockets. I will socket everything, the PLCCs and uh, whatnot, so we have um, an easy way to move them to um, check the components on another Amiga or whatever. Or just replace them if they fail. And uh, just practice, don't give up, and you will have a, you will get your flow, and uh, this will go pretty quickly. And since you don't have my psychological profile, you can probably survive if they are a bit crooked. And then it's not so time consuming. So I've been working like crazy on different videos that I will release this uh, fall and um, all the way to New Year. I've been trying to raise the quality a bit, um, make the content more, uh, I don't know, complete. Like um, this project will take some time. We, we might cover it in three episodes, maybe four. 
who cares? Because we have to make, um, where do we put the motherboard? We have to have a case, right? So I was thinking, let's build a custom case as well. Maybe something in, in Plexi, or we can maybe, um, a relative of mine found a 3D uh, ready, how, how do you say, it's like, um, like uh, uh, you know, you can just order a 3D printout from the schematics online. So there, there's a guy who have made the front, the plastic front of the A4000 ready for printing. Maybe we can print one of those and um, see how the quality is. Maybe we build a red Amiga 4000 case. What do you think? Leave a comment because this is black and we shouldn't go with black case, I guess. We should have maybe something in red or, or some, something that fits good with this look. And this will of course be the Tech Jump A4000. And you guys can uh, actually, if you want to help, if you have a 3D printer or you, you are skilled with, um, with um, metal and all those things needed to make a chassis, just let me know and maybe we can work something out. Um, I have components for another A4000 and um, the uh, CPU card as well. So maybe we build another one, a red one, later on next year when I forget how boring and hard this is. It's not boring, but it's um, very time consuming. And uh, you have to be very resistant to <laughs> failure because this is not gonna start. I'm 100% sure this is not gonna run. If it runs, it's gonna run like five seconds and then something's gonna explode. And we have to do some, um, some repair. But we will learn. We are, we are now entering um, like, this is not, <laughs> this is retro computing, but it's also fucking stupid because we buy all components are new. Even the uh, custom chipset is new. I bought it from... Um, I'm going to link everything down under this video if you want to do this crazy uh, thing yourself. So it's like a brand new Amiga actually. And uh, it should last for many years. Then maybe we can make some kind of... Um, because if this is going to be the Tech Jump A4000, it has to actually, we have to have that printed on the motherboard. And I don't know how to do that. Maybe we should just put a sticker or should we have something more advanced? Just let me know if you get any good ideas. And I will implement them. So this is our Amiga, the Tech Jump. A4000. We're making history here. And okay, so let's solder the other side of the component as well. And a tip, make sure the component is flat on the motherboard. It will make the whole thing much more easy and it will look better. And we have resistors, capacitors, uh, both surface mounts, and um, yeah, well, actually all is surface mount. The caps are um, in different sizes. And we have the lots of ICs. We have some uh, resistor arrays that are through hole, and we have a um, lot of sockets that are through holes. I mean, the holes goes through the motherboard and you solder from the back. All the connectors in the in the back there. And uh, the hardest part will be the PLCC sockets. I'm not uh, sure I've ever practiced so much on these guys. So this will be the first time and I'm probably going to break some pads. Um, and uh, we have some jumpers and uh, strange looking connectors everywhere. Kind of um, 
very hard to find these days and a bit expensive. So um, we have a lot of work to do, guys. Okay, so this is a PLCC socket that I was talking about. I'm a bit afraid now. It has a pin that goes into a lock, locking hole, so uh, you won't put it in the wrong direction. Another way to do this is to skip the, the socket. That's actually the easiest way is just to put this chip on the motherboard and you solder it directly. That's more easy, but we want sockets because we need to replace these chips or maybe we need to borrow them to check a dead a4000 that we're probably gonna buy next year so um, I guess I just start by and th by the way this is much smaller than you think and um, don't bullshit me now with different things that you should do it this way or the other way F you man this is our A4000 and we do it the way we do it. I was thinking maybe I can get it to stick and let's like tag it in place because we have to adjust these small bastards that are going everywhere on the motherboard so we, this is very important and we need to check them with um, our trusty multimeter later and see that they go all the way where they should go. What do you think guys? Is this the correct way to do it? I don't know. I've tagged two sides and it's important that we adjust Okay, I can already see that one side is um, it's gonna be hard to solder. It's so small, the pads are so small, and um, I don't know, my, it's like this uh, iron is a bit clumsy. Um, okay, I just start from this direction here, and then we have to be careful so we don't touch the other side of the socket because we're gonna burn it with um, the iron and we're gonna melt the plastic and it's probably we're gonna do some stupid thing like that if we don't keep it in the right angle this is like watching sports for you guys we're like oh is it gonna get the the, the golf ball into the hole or is he gonna is he gonna miss okay be, be quiet to find a new technique here. And in these situations you just breathe and you hang in there. It's like, you know, when a doctor is making a brain surgery, he's not gonna quit. He's just gonna say, okay, so I have to adjust my technique because this brain is not the same as the other brain that I was fixing yesterday, you know? What the hell happened here? <laughs> this... Oh, okay. Well, it's uh, doing something. I can see it's uh, flowing. So this is actually going to be moving electrons just fine. Not sure how it's going to look, but uh, when we clean it up, I'm sure it's going to look okay.
and um, as you can see I removed the plastic thingy in the middle it's like um, it's there to make the whole socket more uh, stable I guess and this is a very fine technique that I have developed um, you have to have this pink anything that is pink I guess and maybe one of these and you just uh, kind of bang it like that a couple of times and uh, those small pins will break and um, don't hit it in the middle because you will crack it and you just um, put some force and uh, push it out remove all the traces of the small pins solder the socket in place and then you put the plastic uh, thingy in the middle so the chip doesn't go too far down and you can put some double sided tape to kind of make it more fluffy and this is the CPU card the card that you have um, the CPU on and you attach it to the Amiga and it's uh, complete. This is the A3660 by the great John Chucky Hertel. This is the black one they ordered from eBay unfortunately. I wanted to order it from him but he said he didn't have any black ones left because those were special super limited edition and I couldn't get one. So I'm sorry John. But you, of course you, you should order from him, you can get the whole thing with components and everything. Uh, support John, go to uh, Hertel dot nu um, buy his diagram to diagnose your amiga and uh, i support you john i make uh, you know this is a commercial for you uh, i buy buy your stuff it's great uh, it's a brilliant guy um, whatever just buy this from him this is um, the cpu board under the microscope this is um, my samsung mobile phone with an app called magnifying glass as you can see there and it's a good way to do uh, surface mount soldering this is the ICs they're pretty easy to solder you don't need any flux or or um, stuff like that you can just use um, this app and you can uh, you see very easy you can go one leg at a time and this is a good way to practice surface mount for everybody you can use them for the other components as well the um, capacitors and resistors and uh, what have you so you just tag one side and you tag the, the upper uh, side on the other, uh, how do you say, <laughs> I'm too tired for this, tag one side, tag the other side, you understand. And you can see it's pretty easy. Anyway, we are approaching the end of this um, episode, the first episode of the Tech Jump A4000. I hope you had a blast. I sort of have a blast. It's always funny to make videos for my Tech Jump uh, Retro Fam. Um, could you please take one minute and share this video on your uh, retro network or whatever you are? Please bring some more traffic in. We are doing okay. We have around 50,000 views. For me, that is a lot. For another person, that might be just really bad and we are approaching 500 subs let's try to get at least 700 this year that would be great if you could help me with that i will be very thankful and continue to post for you for me for everybody we need to share the knowledge and um, have fun while we're still alive okay i better go now thank you bye